What do you think the word extraordinary means? Um, I think it means um, mature, kind, sensible. It it's means like amazing. What? what? Yeah. But like even better than amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like being out of the ordinary. So you're bigger, better, you're like, you're special. I think extraordinary means um, like more than an ordinary. It's like another level. Huh. Good. At St Peter's Woodlands, we're relentless in seeking the remarkable in every student from 2 to 12 years of age. Our commitment to providing an inclusive and nurturing environment creates a rare and inspirational experience for young people to learn, grow and thrive. I'm pleased to launch Extraordinary Futures, our strategic plan for 2020 and beyond. Um, I think the best thing about SBW is it's really easy to make friends. You don't have to spend a year trying to make a friend. Um, I think all the teachers are, and my teacher is are very lovely. I think that it, SBW is good because everybody's diverse and everybody's not the same. The Extraordinary Futures Strategic Plan 2020 and Beyond is built around four key pillars. Learning, staff, community and leadership. The plan focuses on ensuring we continue to foster and promote a positive learning culture and high quality inclusive education opportunities. We desire St Peter's Woodlands to be a place where the very best teachers want to work, where we use technology in innovative ways, where communication is positive and we have a safe, nurturing and connected community. What's the best thing about learning at SPW? To learn about the letters and numbers, lefty code, everything. I think they have a really good music program and the grounds are beautiful. In yeah, encouragement. Just, they make it fun, they have good leadership and it's just, it's amazing, it's so nice. If I didn't have primary I wouldn't have the basics and if I didn't have the basics I wouldn't be able to do the advanced and without the advanced I wouldn't be able to do anything. The initiatives we're embedding into the curriculum at St Peter's Woodlands through the learning pillar are extremely exciting. With a firm commitment to implementing research-driven and data-based programs, we're committing to explicitly teaching the foundational skills in literacy and numeracy to every student. There will be a renewed focus on utilising high-quality student achievement data to inform teacher practice and allow us to monitor each individual child to ensure they're achieving their personal best. We were the first school in South Australia to adopt the Let's Decode program and we will be continuing with this, a beginning reading program from the four-year-old program through to the end of year two. We will continue to run the Explicit Instruction Spelling Mastery program from year three to year seven. By implementing these programs and accessing student data about each child to inform our teaching practices, we will be in the best possible place to ensure each child achieves their learning potential. It's important to learn technology and coding because in the future probably robots are going to take over. <laughs> Maybe not, who knows. I think technology will be a very huge part of the future with how they're progressing. Technology is kind of a thing that well, adults can use it, kids can use it, even five-year-olds can use it. I think everything will just be based on technology because Seeing how much we use technology now, I think it'll be a lot different when I leave school. We'll need to be prepared for that technology. We'll need to find a way to actually adapt with it. We know children need specific digital skills to engage in an ever-changing technological world. We are proud to be introducing a new digital and coding program from reception to year six. A new digital learning space will be created and resourced with robotics, devices and software designed specifically to engage young learners. An educator has been appointed to oversee the program and work directly with students and staff. We are extremely excited about the opportunities children will have through this new program. To further strengthen our approach to inquiry learning, we will be implementing the Enhanced International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program facilitated by a newly appointed PYP coordinator. 
We believe the opportunities presented to students through the Enhanced PYP program will develop learning dispositions which will hold them in good stead to be lifelong learners. I think reading is imagination. You use your mind to think of stuff and it just takes you to a new world. Reading, writing and math are the basic colours and when you mix them together you get different opportunities and jobs which can sort of yeah, build up your life. SPW is committed to providing targeted programs to children who need additional support with acquiring literacy and numeracy skills. The Inclusive Education Department will continue to offer literacy small group support through the Minilit and Multilit program to a broader range of students by specialist trained educators. We're thrilled to be one of the few schools in South Australia to be accepted as a green school. We'll have a specialist trained teacher delivering this research-based numeracy intervention program to small groups of children who need extra support to grasp foundational mathematical skills. In addition, SPW will now also include programs for gifted students, both wonderful additions to our inclusive education offering. Can you tell me about your teachers? What makes them so special? If someone has a dream, they will help as much as they can for them, that kid to reach it. Because they help you learn. My teacher is definitely funny and always makes a smile on people's faces. Staff at St Peter's Woodlands will be provided the opportunity to engage in robust performance development programs. The initiatives we are introducing look to support the professional development of individuals while also valuing their wellbeing. Staff will undertake professional development in effective analysis and application of data and explicit direct instruction, facilitated by the newly appointed instructional leader. Together with recognising and sharing staff achievements and successes, we'll encourage greater teacher engagement in guiding professional learning opportunities and launch a coaching initiative for all staff. A positive connection between school and the broader community is invaluable in creating an environment for children to thrive. We're very excited to introduce a new service learning program for children from reception to year six. Through this program, we'll provide opportunities for students to serve and give back to the local and global community. A biannual think tank and annual surveys will provide greater opportunities to gain insight and feedback from our community. As an Anglican school, we are continuing to develop student spirituality through authentic, faith-based opportunities. The kids really need to be leaders because um, without them knowing how to do those skills of leadership, they can't really strive to succeed. When we did buddies, we got to do cool activities and they helped us do stuff. I think to be a school captain, you have to be very nice with the kids and you have to be, like, encouraging. Ensuring a sustainable future for both our students and school is of utmost importance. We are thrilled to be announcing a new, innovative graduate diploma for our Year 6 students. We recognise how important it is for our children to have the necessary leadership skills to thrive beyond primary school. We're determined to maintain future growth, sustainability and a comprehensive curriculum at St Peter's Woodlands. We're committed to providing our children with a unique and inspirational educational experience which will prepare them for lifelong learning.